you want a horizontal industrial, but your ear said, no. It said, no bitch, you thought. <laughs> My name is Ruth, I'm based in New York. I like talking to myself. And I hope you like listening. So you're thinking, ah, oh, I can't get that. What do I get? Let me push you on. You wanna look cool, you wanna look badass, you wanna look edgy? You better get yourself one of these, you know what I'm saying? People ask me questions on it. You better get it done. So you guys need this piercing because you're automatically a hard ass if you get it. <laughs> this is called a vertical industrial. Let me get my pointer. A rook and a conch. Get that. You won't look emo, okay? You won't look emo. And when you have your hair back like this and people notice your ear, they'll be like, oh, what is that? Oh my god, your ear looks so cool. Or if you're like me, you're just gonna brag about your ear to anyone. <laughs> Actually, that's what I used to do. When I was when I used to go out, especially when I first got it, I'd be, I'd be like, oh yeah, look at my hair. <laughs> Who cares? What's so wrong about bragging about something? I worked so hard to get this and for it to heal like this properly, beautifully, I'm gonna show it off. People are gonna ask about it. You're gonna ask about it because I'm showing it off and it looks cool without trying. You're worried about style? You don't really need style if you have this. This is with you forever unless you take it out. Forever. You're forever cool. <laughs> I wanted the horizontal industrial. It is a popular piercing that not a lot of people have, but most people want and most people are scared of. Horizontal industrials, I know. I was there too. I wanted one too, really badly. A horizontal industrial would look like this. My ear had no problem up here. This is my problem. Look at how thin this part is. A piercer could have pierced it, but a good one won't. Because if I had a piercing here, my ear would have pushed it out. My ear would have said no things. <laughs> I have my fair share of piercings, but not knowing my ear anatomy that well because I'm not a professional piercer. I have these high expectations to go into this piercing shop. I asked them if I could get a horizontal industrial done and they said no. And then they suggested a vertical industrial. I'm not familiar with those piercings, so I was like, things because he was explaining like how it would look I think he even showed me a picture and various ways to do it and I was like mm, I'm not really interested in that because I wanted that horizontal look and then super bummed because I really wanted that piercing really wanted that piercing when I got home I told my roommate I couldn't get that piercing done and my roommate was like why don't you just get that then and I'm like hmm. I just looked on Google to see like other vertical industrials to see if there's any other variation that I liked that would look good on me, I think, and I found one. So that's why I got this and it's the best alternative. I feel like you should get this piercing. Even if you can get a horizontal industrial, I feel like once the people get wind of this, it's gonna be like the next thing. I can still wear earphones. What is this? AirPods, thank you. I, I can wear this fine. I can wear this fine. Most people can get a rook. More people can get a conch. Just put that together and you got a badass look. Where did I get it pierced? I remember, my name is Ruth. I'm based in New York. So I, I went here. Can I focus? God damn. Okay, village tattoo, whatever. I'll link it down below, like always. Like always, I only have like one other video, anyway. Yeah, so this is where I got it pierced. Village tattoo, NYC in Manhattan. The piercer that actually did it for me, he currently does not work there right now. The last time I spoke to the owner though, he said that he might be going back, but I'm not sure. If you are interested in the piercer, just let me know, just comment below. I went to the shop last month. It was funny because there's an apprentice there too, and they were, they saw my industrial and they were like, holy shit. Was it affordable? Yes. This piercing shop is actually one of the most affordable shops in New York, from what I found. A girl is not that rich, you know what I'm saying? But like, I want my ears to look rich. I've, I have my fair share of piercings, so I called ahead to a lot of them last year. It, I think before the pandemic hit, and I asked them for quotes on piercing prices. A lot of places, um, base price is like $100. The industrial base price at this place is 55 bucks. That includes the jewelry, um, and the people are nice. The owner is there like every day, and he's he's really nice. I mean, I'm nice to him, so he's nice to me back. And isn't that how most interactions work? Just don't be an ass, and they won't be an ass back. Just be nice. When I got it done, is this piercing is actually pretty uncommon piercing for that piercer, but he made it work because obviously he's done his fair share of rooks. They're pretty common. Conch, even more common. It was just a matter of bending it. So did I already show you this? Oh, I don't remember. 
so he bent it up here just so it can fit my rook and then it just goes straight down into my conscience straight down after that in the back too yeah so he doesn't really do this kind of piercing often but i mean he nailed it and two years later it's still going fine actually i'm thriving so you know so the healing process for it it took a little bit longer obviously i think it was pretty uncomfortable in the beginning sleeping because i i'm the type to like roll around a lot so Sometimes I would wake up on this side and I'd be like, oh shit. I think after four to six months, it was pretty much okay and like comfortable. It wasn't like something that I was so cautious over. Um, obviously, you should still be cautious over your piercings at least up to a year, like a full year. And that's when you you know you're pretty much good to go. I did get a bump. Pain, I think for the rook was, the rook was more painful than the conch. He did the rook first and then he did the conch, um, and then he had the bar. Rook, I'd say, is like a seven out of 10. Is that high? I don't know. And then the conch, I'd say like a six out of 10, five out of 10. Is that high? Okay, if I were to compare it, I just got my lobes done, or I mean your doubles. I'd say that was like a three out of 10, four out of 10. A high lobe, it was a different kind of pain, so I think that was like a four, four out of 10. If that was like a 4 out of 10, if a double was like a 3 out of 10. So then compare that to like a conch. I think a conch is like a 6 out of 10. And then rook is like a 7 out of 10. Because I've had piercings that hurt way more. And I've had a piercing where my back arched. <laughs> That's how painful it was. But I guess the one thing now is either I have to find someone who can bend a new one for me if I want to change out my piercings. Because right now my ears are fully silver and white gold, whereas my neck is gold, yellow gold. <laughs> but I mean, who cares, right? Who cares? The rule of having all your jewelry match, who cares? I think it looks good, right? <laughs> If you're interested in a piercing tour, let me know. Actually, no, I'm just gonna give it to you because I want a couple more piercings anyway, so I'm gonna go get those first and then I will film a piercing tour. My channel is, is pretty new, so you know, like I'm not gonna get that many requests anyway, so I'm gonna give you the things that I request as a video. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was so weird. Why was this video kind of boring? I feel like this is like more like an educational video, so I guess it's fine. <sighs> this is my fourth time filming this. I do that in the mic. Sorry, I think I just spat. Um, I'm pretty sure I talked about it's working a conch, right?